Welcome to News File, it's the most authoritative news analysis platform. And here on News File, we put Ghana first. And here is Samson's stake. Don't make mockery of the RTI law. President Akufuado was spot on when he declared that the Right to Information Act 2019, Act 989, was the mother of all anti corruption laws. The 1992 Constitution, Article 21, commanded its passage. Strangely, however, it took some two decades of vigorous, sustained campaigns to get it passed. It was not handed to the people by the benevolence of a government. Citizens forced its passage. The politicians disregarded the Constitution's command for over two decades and did everything to ensure it will remain only a bill in one parliament after the other. They do not deserve the praise they seek for the RTI law. In fact, it was nearly botched in Michael Quay's seventh parliament, the same way it was sabotaged in the 11th hour in Doha Jaho's sixth parliament. Even the MPs who disliked it rightly interpreted the public anger and lack of patience speaking in support of it, but only when the cameras were on them. Some kept quiet while working at it grudgingly. Katie Hammond was candid to openly oppose it, insisting RTI will burden government and leave it with no secrets. He wants a government of secrets. I own a full compilation of parliamentary debates on the bill from the very start to finish. By our constitution, it is a fundamental human right. This means we are not merely entitled and given by the state, but we are entitled to it, public information, as a matter of our natural God-given birthright as humans. The CDD, GII, and RTI coalition doing the very final push got me to join the forefront, making presentations, interacting with MPs, and literally forcing and policing their work on the bill every day until it was dusted. I observed mentors and consummate human rights and good governance activists like Akoto Ampao refuse to give up on the campaign despite the years of frustration. The Media for Foundation for West Africa, the biggest user of the law so far, mobilized lawyers and RTI experts to go around the country to sensitize journalists and duty bearers on the law. In one session in Tamale, participating office holders realized and admitted the law will rather get their constituents better informed to support them to succeed. They spoke about how it will curb the situation where wrong information and half-truths are told to destroy them and their institutions. The Information Ministry worked to ensure hundreds of information officers were recruited and trained for a smooth implementation of the law. An RTI commission that has demonstrated admirable fidelity to the law has been robust in enforcing compliance, sanctioning institutions like the police, fire service, and the Minerals Commission for frustrating people from accessing information. Please do not make a mockery of the struggle and beautiful project the way the Council of States has sought to do. 
its director of finance and administration who elected to perform the function of information officer delivered information requested by metro tv with the speed of light but dishonorably denied togbi afedes aid same information several days after an official request dear stephen blay i'm tempted to conclude you were deliberate in misreading misinterpreting and misapplying the rather plain provisions of the law in directing a requester to contact another requester for information sought. The section 21 you quoted means exactly that. If the information requested is already contained in, quote, an official publication, please mark that, an official publication held by another public institution, mark that to public institution, end quote, then a requester may be directed to that other public institution to access that official publication. You see, by law, some public institutions like the NCA and the special uh, prosecutor are mandated to make official publications within certain times of the year. If you, re you, you, you make a request and the institution is preparing to publish that information within 90 days of receipt of the request, it is only commonsensical that the requester is asked to wait for the publication so that they can access it. That's called deferred access. Some public institutions do proactive rather than reactive disclosure of public information. They have bulletins and other publications. So it is again commonsensical that people are simply directed to the publications containing the information they seek. How is this difficult to understand? The law says if a requester makes the application, give the information if you have it. If you don't have it, give them reasons written why you cannot give them. But if you do and conduct yourself in the manner that you did at the Council of State, what you have done is to deny them information. Stephen Blay, the Council of State is a public institution. The pen you write with is bought by our tax money. The desk you sit on, the computer you use, the meetings you hold are held in our name and on our behalf and for our welfare. Literally, we have employed you. You are our employee and you must account to us. You are a director. You must be driving in a vehicle we bought. You must be getting fuel coupons from our tax money. You might, must be sleeping in a house or a room that we paid for. A bed, including a bed sheet that we paid for. You dare not conduct yourself the way you have done. It's most dishonorable. The law says, give it because it belongs to the people, not to you. And guess what? Those public institutions who are misconducting yourselves, it says if the information requested is in the public interest, it must be given free of charge. Mark that, it's in the law, free of charge. And when the information is requested, don't use your own internal laws. Check the law again. It says all other laws regarding information access are subservient to this law. Therefore, that law supersedes all other laws in, re in regarding information request. Please, let's help this democracy to grow if we don't want it to be what many 
have come to say it is. That is my take.